Hello, it's Agents, Ro here, and welcome to No No Films. Today, we're going to continue our iMovie tutorials, and in this tutorial, we're going to focus on how to fade video in and fade video out. This I showed you guys previously how to do the same thing with audio, fading it in and out, but at this time, we're going to focus on a video. It's a little bit more uh, difficult because then you have to actually use a cutaway feature, and uh, it just it's not as simple as you would do with audio. So let me begin by opening up iMovie. And uh, I am running on OS X uh, Yosemite. So if anything looks different, be sure to let me know if you don't have an option. I believe everything should be the same and relatively very similar. But other than that, just let me know. So let's begin. To do the fir first part of the thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a picture-in-picture -picture effect or a cutaway effect is most of the time the most common to do this with. So I'm going to clear this out uh, in a previous tutorial we actually covered how to like split audios and have several different audios so I'm gonna delete that completely and it looks like it's loading let it do that there we go now I'm gonna grab a, this footage full clip here and I'm gonna drag it straight into my project well I didn't want the image so I'm gonna deselect the image and just get the actual footage here. So we have the clip here. I'm going to mute it all the way. I don't want any audio to interrupt during my tutorial. And what we're going to do is going to grab an image. This can be done with an image or the actual footage, another footage. For example, I'm just going to use footage just for this purpose. Let's do some footage actually you can see. Let's do seven seconds of this footage. And I'm put it right over my titles over here. And what I did here is I just selected what I wanted and I dragged it right into my project at the top. Now you can see we have a title here and then we have it cut into my actual uh, footage. I'm gonna make it actually smaller, make it four seconds. That way when I show you guys actually, it's not too long, 4.1 seconds, that's fine. And then it goes back to the title over here. So now, you, as you can see, this is the audio fade in and fade out as I showed you guys in the previous tutorials. But at the top now you have this option to do the video fade in and fade out, as and, and when you adjust them, like which is since it's a su such a small clip, I can only fade it in and fade it out um, two seconds. But if we expand it, it'll make us even. We can do it larger. And when you expand, change the fade in. This is the fade in portion. This is the fade out. They both actually adjust automatically to create an equal effect. Like you have an equal time of fading in and an equal time of fading out. Now let me show you this for example. I'm gonna play it right here, and as you can see, and I, here I thought I muted it. I'm gonna mute it again. You can see the fade in and fade out effect coming through. As you can see, you can still see the title. Now it's fading out, and now you can see the actual title again that goes into the clip. It's really cool. It's just I noticed you can't do it with the actual main footage. Like if you have your original clip up here, you can only do the audio. You, there's no option to fade in or fade out the actual footage, original footage. Now the only way you can do this though, let's say you do want to like a fade out and uh, or a transition is what you would actually use. But if you wanted to fade out um, and you go to a different kind of clip, it, the best way to do that is by, okay, so you, you split where you want it. I just hit command B to split right there. And you would go down to use a transition. And from here there is a fade to black or fade to white. I know most of the time use the fade to black. Put that in and then if you do the fade to black, you'll see that it fades to black and then it goes to the next clip. So that's that's the best way to do a, a fade transition when you're actually do, dealing with your original clip and you're not dealing with a on top of a clip, a different clip. But yeah, this is the way you'd probably want to normally use it if you have another clip. Just put it over your original footage and then do a fade in effect into it and then do a fade out as well to exit out of that clip. Now also if the transition, one of you prefer to use a transition, the fade to black or fade to white, I do suggest uh, changing the time to it. You can uh, double click it and it'll give you the options to change the time to three seconds for example and it'll be the fade to black will be a lot longer than one second as you can notice right here. And you can see it more, you can see the transition better. But other than that, that's the, it for this tutorial. Be sure to let me know any questions at all if you have any in the comment section below. I'll be glad to help you and get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys. Later. My life be the proof, the proof of your love.